Okay guys, what's up? Zach Calhoun here from Cloud Beto. In this video, we're gonna talk about some high ticket services that you can stack on to the back end of your agency. So whether you're a photographer, videographer, 360 photographer, or you're just a marketing person that's local and an entrepreneur who wants to have some additional services you can add on to your business, um, this video is for you and I think it'll be super helpful. So some background on me, I am the co-founder of cloudpano.com. We're a 360 virtual tour platform. Uh, we help entrepreneurs, agencies, photographers, real estate marketers, um, anybody who is creating cool content and interactive 360 or video type content, they use our platform to market stuff, to market interiors, to market listings. Um, we also have a spin product. So people who have products can create exterior spins of their stuff. This includes cars, RVs, uh, power sports, tractors, etc. So if you have a space or stuff, we can help you at the software level. So check out cloudpanel.com today, become a member, check it out, try it out, go sell some clients. In my previous video, I talked about how you could use Google Street View as a tool or a lead in offer to build a relationship, fill up that rapport bucket with your customer, and then unlock the ability to have the high ticket sales conversation with high ticket services. So what are some examples? How does that work? Well, there's all kinds. And uh, in a world full of agencies or everyone's agency owner, you have a lot of options, the things you can offer your clients. It's important to become somewhat educated on some of these items I'm, I'm about to show you, but you don't have to be an expert. I think we sometimes really misconstrue the idea that I need to know all there is to know about these given fields before I can offer it for money. But the reality is, is all you need to do is know enough to be dangerous, enough to sell that type of service, and to understand why it's valuable to your customers. So I always say the only way to discover what is valuable is to speak to your customers, talk to them, ask them questions, interview them. Hey, dude, what you, what's, what's hurting you? What are your problems? What are your pains? What do you wish was faster, easier, done for you, right? So those types of questions, um, what's painful to you, what's most important to you, combine those things together typically is where revenue is generated. It's where you can swoop in and be helpful. Even if it's just for a period of time for a fellow business owner's business, um, it's an easier sale versus trying to sell some type of technology or service that someone really isn't sure if they want or need um, and you haven't really created that gap, that, that need gap very well. Um, it, it takes a lot more sophisticated selling and psychological marketing that it's just hard to do when you're just trying to make some quick cash, right? So what I suggest is just let them tell you where the gaps are. Let them tell you what areas of their business they want to grow. Okay, so with that foundation being laid, what are some examples of filling that gap? Well, every time you talk to a customer, especially a small business owner, uh, about their marketing, their sales, their business, um, they oftentimes are going to kind of come back to uh, people walking in the door, leads, sales, um, and then of course, average ticket value of their customers. Um, but what they currently think, what's on front of mind um, to get more of those customers uh, is always pretty much a little bit different. Um, so even though leads may be this like, or sales, maybe this kind of overarching umbrella, how they get there in the decision maker's mind is always a little bit different. Um, so for example, if, you, if you're selling to an automotive dealership, and um, you're trying to determine what do they have budget for, or what are they spending money on now, some folks may be just, they just wanna get photos up and get them up fast. It's all about speed of getting inventory up on the website as fast as possible. If they can do that, they'll spend the money, right? When some folks, maybe more of a luxury dealer, they may want to have interactive, long engagement, really cool content on their website. So that may require a turntable. They're willing to invest in a whole turntable to show off their inventory, right? So, so you have these different um, examples of what folks are willing to invest in, what's on front of mind. Um, and if you can join them in the thinking long term, you can determine what type of service or offering you're going to give them. So, back to that dealership example, you may want to sell them, hey, here's an application, an app that you can just make spins really fast and you just pay monthly and you have one of your employees do it. 
cool. Or you offer the service, hey, I'll have my team come out and, you know, what's your per car budget um, to create spins or create photos for each vehicle. Um, we'll go fast. We'll get, them in, get your inventory up and you completely white glove, just hand it off to us. When you see someone's shoulders drop, they go, yeah, that's probably what they want, right? So then you just gotta figure out what, what budget they, they want or what, uh, what additional add-ons they wanna add on to the service, right? So you're looking for that moment of like release stress or like, yeah, if I just had that, that would be a big weight off my shoulders. So look for those things, right? Here's an example too. Um, let's say someone reaches out to you locally and says, hey, we're trying to get a virtual tour photographed uh, on Cloud Panda, or we're trying to get a virtual tour created for our vacation rental home or our campground, etc." cetera. Well, let's say they have a big property uh, and they, they have three or four different floor plans. They want, they want those photographs so they can put them on the website and uh, show off those spaces and lease up those vacation rentals. Well, um, you could always throw out a quote, and I understand like having price on your website if you're an extremely high volume type of business owner, which there's a, there's a space for that. Um, but if you want to sell higher ticket or sell uh, more things in, in, a, in, in a situation uh, where someone calls you, you want to book a quick demo or call them up real quick. Hey, what do you got going on? Tell me this. How big's the space? How many locations are there? What, you know, how many panos will I have to take? to make this project happen. A lot of things are kind of revolve, a lot of pricing revolves around how much work is it gonna take, right? Um, and you can build up value on the phone. Hey, we'll take professional 360 photos, we'll edit them, we'll make your virtual tour for you, we'll add the hotspots together, we'll make sure that's published online, we'll embed it on your website. So all those things are like kind of like SOP, standard operating procedure with the VR agency, with the 360 model, but build up, up that value helps it sound a little bit more expensive to your client. And then you could also, of course, ask questions and offer more value. So a great example would be we recently had a client um, who through asking a few questions found out they also have some amenities on location. So they have some other cool stuff they want to show off. Okay, great. Well, we would love to do the uh, scope of work you've requested from us. Like, you know, we, we, we put together a price that price for that for you. I have a good idea what it's going to cost. But um, also, you know what? We can throw in amenities for only this much more. And uh, the person on that phone, maybe maybe it's, it's a subordinate of that of that decision maker, may say, "Oh, well, we know. I don't know if we really want that, but I'll run, run by my boss." Okay, cool. And also, we can put a drone in the air as well, too. You want to kind of offer drone almost every time. Why offer drone? I don't have part 107. I don't have, the, I don't have a drone. Don't worry. Someone nearby does. In every city, in every major metro, someone's got a drone. Um, and the reason why I say it is because you can offer three-tiered pricing, you know, the scope they asked for, um, the additional scope that has like some added extra amenities, and then a grand slam offer. I can't do three here. Um, when you do that in a, in, a, in a good way and you put it on the, the, the proposal, you might actually get an easy option B or middle tier or option, you know, option C, hey, I'm feeling good today, or hey, we had a big contract come in, we're gonna, we're gonna buy the big package. So if you don't have that pricing on your proposal, how are you gonna ever get the yes for it? Make sense? Well, you can always scope down. Hey, typically our drone add-on is you know five or six photos of you know all around the space, but we can just do two photos or just do one photo for this for this price if it meets your budget. Will that? How's that sound? Right. So it's an easy close. How's that sound to you? You know, does that meet your budget? Those are easy questions you can ask in the negotiation process. And I'm talking. You send a proposal, and it's one phone call. Hey, I'd love to be able to just follow up. Walk through, walk through this proposal with you, see what questions you have. And of course, people love a deal. So if you're negotiating down from $9,000 to eight or seven, you know, if they feel like they got two, an extra two grand on that deal, but they originally came to you asking for a $1,500 project and you offered them 2,500, say 3,000 for the amenities package. And they're like, well, let's just go ahead and get amenities shot too while they're here. And now you're at this 3K mark and you're trying to get to that maybe four, five, six K mark. Well, if you have a 
$9,000 price anchor you can work down and you just walked away with a $6,000 project that was going to be $1,500, make an extra $4,500 just because you put it on the proposal and you're willing to negotiate. Oftentimes on the phone, I say, hey, if I'm willing to go down to this price, you know, I, I could probably do that and, and be okay uh, with it meet your budget. Let me know. And people will kind of, oh, yeah, maybe. So, listen, if they're not sure, as they're thinking, and say, I know you're going to love this. It's going to really make your whole place pop. And of course, let's fill this place up. Let's not shortchange ourselves now up front, come back later when it's going to cost more. for Because if I have to come back or if my team has to come back, you're charging. Uh, we're doing full price up front. That's not amenities or that, or that original scope. So you kind of save money there. Make sense? What if I get, get the whole project down to 6K? What'd you do it today? So I'm just like asking questions to see if they can get get a, get a yes today, right? Great, cool. I'll adjust that proposal. We'll get a sign. We'll get over and we'll get it booked for two weeks from now. Sound good? Great. Now, what if that moment you're thinking, oh, Zach, I don't shoot a drone. I don't have a drone. What do I do? Don't worry, man. You got two weeks to find someone to do it. <laughs> just, you just call folks to do it. It's called subcontracting. Super common in the media space, digital media, um, and, and digital marketing. Okay? So... Great example of, of offering something higher ticket, like, like drone. You can offer lead generation services. Lead, lead, lead generation is simply making a quick couple pages and adding some, um, so building some ads and ads, ads campaigns on Facebook for a local business and pushing those out to the marketplace to capture some leads and send those leads to your customers. We talk about this step-by-step, -step, how to do this in the BTPS program. I highly recommend you join. Um, also, you can offer social media repurposing or social media posting or management for, for folks. And really, there's tools that exist that connect all their accounts. They post, you post one video, and it pushes to all those other accounts. You can charge $500, $600, $100,000 a month just for that. So there's a lot of options out there, stuff you can do at a high ticket level, but you got to get the customers talking to you first. Figure out what they need, figure out the gap, and fill the gap. That's how you win, and that's how we do it at cloudpanel.com. I'll see you inside in the next video. Thanks for being here.